Kwame, another big goal from yourself, uh, coming back from a, from behind to win today. That must feel brilliant. Yeah, no, I think it shows the character of everyone. Um, and obviously, in terms of for myself, I just wanted to, again, come on. Um, if I'm not starting, obviously, we all want to start, each and every single one of us. But um, yeah, if I'm going to come on, then try and make an impact and uh, affect the game. And talk us through the goal, because it was a fantastic finish, obviously a deep cross from, it was Soxie, I believe, wasn't it? And then yeah. just a, a brilliantly composed volley straight in. A powerful as well, which must yeah. have been hard to get the power behind that. Yeah, yeah, no, um, again, I think me and the, the attackers, and well, everyone sometimes, but me and the attackers were always practicing our finishing training. Um, Hugo's always actually dragging us <laughs> off of the training pitch. So, um, yeah, again, when it's a great ball from Stokesy, and I've just tried to keep it on target, like you say, with, with some power and it's got always got a chance of going in. A, a week of being a super sub, really. What, what's it what's it like coming off the bench and, and having to get into the game straight away? Is it, is it quite difficult sometimes? Because you've clearly shown you can do it today. Yeah, no, it's, it's not easy. Um, obviously, you've got to get up to speed with the game quite mm. quick, coming from sort of a little bit of warming up on yeah. the sideline to, you know, straight into uh, sort of a manic game. Um, and obviously no one wants to come off the bench, like mm. I said. Um, I'd, I would prefer to start, obviously. Um, but uh, yeah, if I am going to come on, like I said, I've, I've got to make an impact and I'm glad I've been able to do that in the last two games. It has been difficult finding minutes, hasn't it? Obviously, Laurent and Jack have been scoring for fun. We've got a lot of attackers in-house, but you can only do what you've been doing this week, can't mm -hmm. you? And, and, and scoring when, when you are playing and playing well. Yeah, um, I've, I've learned. I think, I think when I was younger in a similar situation, you sort of get your head down, you do this, you do that. Um, uh, being older and wiser now, I think the, the way to go about it is your performances. Um, I can talk all I want to, to the manager, but hopefully mm -hmm. my performances can show. Hopefully next game I can be closer to that uh, starting games and that's obviously the aim. It's obviously been a tough run for the lads. I mean, f five games in, in just over two weeks is, is, is tough on the legs, but we've got mm -hmm. a bit of a break now, haven't we? So a nice time to, to reset and get ready for the, the final third of the season. Yeah, definitely. I think the next game's not till, is it a week on Tuesday? Yeah. Um, so yeah, like you say, we can get some rest in, but also obviously training hard and making sure we're, we're ready for the next challenge on uh, that Tuesday. I, I know the mood in the dressing room is good. It's a close-knit bunch, isn't it? And mm -hmm. you must be really excited to, to be part of the, the end of the season where we could, you know, maybe upset the apple cart a little bit and, and really defy the odds that were put on us at the start of the season. Yeah, again, uh, like the manager says, we have, we have to take it game by game. There's no point thinking about five games away or this or that it's, it's always a next game mentality and um, yeah like you said on the changing room there's, I've, I've been at a, a few clubs in my time and uh, you know I could probably count two or three that you like you know that was a great changing room kind of mm. thing so it's it's it doesn't happen every season so yeah I'm definitely enjoying being a part of this this changing room.